Ooh. What's up, <gasps> partners? Howdy there, partner. Howdy. I got a snake in my boot. Somebody's poison the water hole. <laughs> there's bandits at this train station. <laughs> I tell you, there's gold in them hills. <laughs> okay. Welcome, welcome to, to Say That Podcast, Spaghetti Western Edition. Spaghetti. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we're going to get a real, you're going to, we're going to paint mental pictures for you tonight of tumbleweeds and, and, uh. Ropes. Ropes and, <laughs> and people on six, horseback. Six shooters. Six shooters and uh, uh, Appaloosa. Long ride. Spurs. <laughs> spurs. Assless chaps. That's right. The boots with the spurs. <laughs> <laughs> You've been planning that one for like a week, haven't you? Ever since, the moment you guys said Western, I was like, all right, I Shit, know what yeah, I got one. What's up, guys? Thanks for coming back. Oh, yeah. Thanks for hanging out. I uh, hope you enjoyed our. Halloween spooktacular special. We weren't actually all dead. Spoiler alert. We're back. <laughs> I know you guys are disappointed. I know you're real worried about us. We're going to do uh, some country western shit because Will and Ben have been completely consumed by a video game. I don't know if you've heard of it. Oh, if you haven't heard of it, then you're living under a rock. Because you know, everyone's playing it, dude. It's that Red Dead Redemption, son. Boy. Yes. So, what exactly does that name mean? I don't know. Well, the history of the game series, as best I know it, is there was the first one that was called Red Dead Revolver. Yeah, and I'm yeah. pretty sure... That was like the original Xbox yeah. yes, game, dude. right? Xbox, so I think it was a first that was person. one of the first games I got from Blockbuster. <laughs> oh, that's I think it came it. out with the Xbox, right? It was like an, a release with the game. Yeah. Dude. Or with the system, I mean. That game good memories with that game mm. it's yeah. by rockstar same people who do grand theft auto so you yeah. know it's real red dead redemption 2 is basically like grand theft auto but with horses and a lot more detailed and you got a lasso and yeah, if you want right. to grow your hair out i've been told you have to wait on your hair to grow out which i think is an interesting it's very, change of pace it's for a video so real game. aaron was saying you can gain weight is that true too uh, you can gain or you can be like underweight or overweight <clears throat> is it just based on how much you eat yeah Dude, so you can sit there yeah. and just pound chocolate and be fat that, the next uh, day. There's chocolate? Is yeah. chocolate expensive Dude, chocolate in the 1800s? Is, it's the best for uh, regenerating your stamina <laughs> and your dead eye. <laughs> That's for sure. Or cigarettes. Cigarettes or also help. Cigarettes are yeah. real good for they're your They're bad health. for your stamina, but they're good for your dead eye meter. So, That's yeah. hilarious. The, is it like, is the idea there that they make you cooler and therefore you shoot better? Like, I think I don't it's know. like the tobacco, you know, like nicotine makes you a mild, focus. Mild but, also, but also rum, too. Yeah. Alcohol. Rum makes Let's you just better talk shot. about all the stuff we eat and drink in the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a pretty good podcast, but then they spent an hour and 45 minutes talking about just the consumables in Red Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Talked about chocolate for 20 minutes. Chocolate. Uh, Cho- what are they selling? <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> what? <laughs> um... So I, that inspired us to make a Western song. I personally, I, did, I didn't drop this knowledge on them until we got here. I don't know anything about spaghetti Westerns. The first time I heard the term is when Django came out, and that's because that was the term Tarantino described it with. And, and so I got it. I, like, Googled that after I heard that and kind of got an idea of what the – what stylistically the genre is, but I don't know any of the history of it or anything, and I don't think I've ever really I think watched. It basically, one. just comes down to cheap labor. <laughs> <laughs> the history, or like yeah. most things, yeah. I think a lot of it also has to do with the sound of the revolver hitting off of a rock. The <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that ricochet is what sound. Yeah. Well, it's a really. I mean, it was a patently like violent style of western movie, right? Like there was a lot of shoot 'em up stuff going on. In yeah, the like westerns. a lot of. You know, like the standoffs where nobody's really talking and they're like doing it on people's faces and just like showing their hand next to them. You know, it's like yeah. very suspenseful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like the 40s and 50s. And also I, overdubbed. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. In the 40s and 50s, Westerns were sort of like superhero movies are now where the fl- it was just flooded with so many Westerns. Everyone loved Westerns. And then the uh, come around the 60s, early 60s and until the late 70s, uh, these – Entrepreneurial, we'll call it. Uh, <laughs> Exploited it. <laughs> it's the same thing. Uh, 
decided that, uh, you know, we found out that we can get, we don't have to pay these Italian guys just as much. There's a lot of great countryside and, uh, well, a lot of the directors were Italian. Yeah. And they were doing producers. And, but they would make these, uh, the Italians, Italian movies. Westerns. And then they started yeah. this weird hybrid where it was like, they would make an Italian Western, but for American American audiences. Right. So what was the difference between the two? Do you know? Am I getting too deep on your spaghetti Western knowledge? There's a bit of a, like a stylistic choices. Uh, violence. The way, violence, the way they filmed it. It was sort of a, <laughs> a mix of like art film and just grindhouse. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it's weird. There hasn't been anything quite like this before, but... Uh, and a lot of them were fil- filmed in Italian, and they would just overdub. Yeah, dub it. So if you watch like yeah. an old spaghetti western, their their mouths are moving. It's like a kung just... fu movie or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Have you guys watched many of them? Like, what's your like? My experience with westerns is like Lonesome Dove. Oh and god, fucking... I love Lonesome Dude, Dove. Lonesome Dove is the shit. That book. That's like one of the only books I've read and like cried. Yeah, it's a good fucking. It's, it's so good, good, good story. Um, not Red Fern, like. Yeah. I don't think I ever read Will that doesn't part. like dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Will was happy. Bridge, bridge to Terabithia, maybe. <laughs> um, uh, the good, the bad, anything Clint Eastwood okay, did. So, okay, yeah. so those are spaghetti westerns. But, dude, yeah. there's, there's way too many. Because so I've many. seen, I mean, I've seen Eastwood films. My stepdad yeah. is obsessed, or like, I he think, loves westerns. I think all dads are obsessed with westerns because I was... I was raised on watching westerns because my dad just fucking yeah. loved them. For my dad reason. didn't. My stepdad did. I, so I was like, "Fuck this shit." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I have no like, no recollection of. You're so young. Yeah, dude. It's. It, I mean, it all it all like runs together. My yeah. first rifle was a thirty thirty lever action. I grew up like wanting to be a cowboy, but we didn't watch Western movies. I think that's kind of weird in hindsight. Like I my parents like rented like I got horseback lessons all the time. Really? I wore I wore boots that were too small for me for like two years without telling my parents. Do so you have like, a cap gun too? Bro, I have oh, yeah. real guns, dog. Like I like <laughs> but I was a fucking cowboy. All right, it's cool you had real guns. No, but yeah, I had a cap gun too. was way fucking cooler. Yeah. Uh, I I beg to differ. They're both dope in their own particular ways. You can't shoot your friends with a real one, but, Dude, but you can blow a can up. Was it your real gun see through though? I didn't ever have see. Mine looked like see. Mine looked like Western. Like they had they had like plastic ivory looking yeah. handles on them and stuff. You know, I'm serious. Like I had one of those. You know, those like spring loaded rocking horses. And I'd like ride that shit all the time with oh, my yeah. toy gun. <laughs> yeah, bro. I, Did it have wheels on it so it actually move? Nah, I don't remember. I don't know if it did or not. I don't think so. I think I just make that bitch jump off the ground because it'd be <laughs> out and do I, I was too big about for it. Things. It's like a, yeah. a metal frame with yep. the springs on, on it, four it, corners. It, 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 it just jump I, on. It. I had this little. We had just the. I had what the a horse. stupid toy. <laughs> so so dumb, dude. dude. I had that toy that was a stick yeah. with a horse head. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, the <laughs> His name was Dodo, yeah. and uh, I would Dodo. ride him. Yeah, I would ride him around, and I was a cowboy. It was great, dude. These are all toys I never owned, but all my friends did. <laughs> and I would just show up at their house. And I'm like, "What the fuck is this?" Thing? I, and I would sit on that horse for like 30 minutes, like, "Oh, this is fucking <laughs> awesome, dude!" I yeah, I had a, like a protracted cowboy phase. Like it lasted too long. Like I like I think. I might have stunted my growth wearing boots that were too small for too long because I didn't know if I'd get a new pair, and I really liked those cowboy boots. Yeah, dude. I think we all had the cap guns with the holster, and you, like, you know, draw, oh, yeah. and you're, like, you're flipping it and around then, and stuff. When you're yeah, up, the flipping, dude. That was the, always the what I wanted to do. The spinning on your finger is really important. And then, then the when you're old enough, you would uh, upgrade to a BB gun. Mm-hmm. And oh, shoot dude. damn squirrels. <laughs> See, yeah, we we yeah, we would just go hunting. My dad was like anti BB gun, airsoft, paintball, anything like that because so, he was so concerned with firearm safety. Because I seriously started. Will you grab me a beer? Oh look, he 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 I caved. Can't. He yeah. caved. Me too, bro. <laughs> like, that's okay. That's two for them. Um, oh, uh, okay. He, with it, yeah. Sure, guys, you guys just heard a, a, a breakdown on Save That. I'm getting a behind-the-scenes access. Anyway, he was so concerned with, like, firearm safety that he wouldn't even let me pretend to shoot my friends. Like, that wasn't cool. And my, I, I remember my mom bought us airsoft guns, and he got so mad because me and Dalton were just capping each other with airsoft guns because we've been waiting our whole lives oh, for that, man. man. Those things hurt. Dude, we had full auto ones at one point. You just you push stand, your out. You, you just stand out. out in the street and blast each other. Yeah. They Fuck also you. had those grenades too. Remember those things? I never got that into it. 
I know kids that did Neither like. Neither did I, but it's, it's I just did, like I did never. I never. I didn't know they made grenades out of them. I knew that they did that with paintball. Like, I knew they had paint grenades and stuff. Yeah, but. they have airsoft grenades too. It just seems dangerous. It all seems so <laughs> dangerous. But the best toys are always dangerous, like skateboards, uh, fireworks, airsoft scooters. guns, fireworks, razor scooters. What else is a dangerous toy that's dope? What are those skip it things that was like a fucking rock at the end of a rope and you put it around your ankle yeah. and just skip around? Do you remember that? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just, at, it's like a bolo. T- like, you know what I'm talking yeah. about? Those Trampolines. That, the aborigines used to, <laughs> to rope kangaroos. You basically just strap that to your ankle and like see how long you can avoid it. Or the like Batman, what he uses to tie up the bad guy's ankle. I think they're called bolos. bolos. Yeah. Bolos. Bolo ties. Oh. There's like three But a bolo tie is awesome though. Mm. Well, anyway. Yeah, you can use the bolo ties as a weapon too, mm-hmm. and also, if you're Western, right? Yeah, that's right. what they do. Hey, and, and that's what we do. <laughs> that we bring it all back around. Wow, that was <laughs> like a lesson. That's a that good was segue, dude. dude. That was yeah. very professional. You're hired. Um, so, what what do we want to start with for this? What's the what are the key ingredients in a song? Also, do we we said I think the first thing to do is to determine who the best whistler in the room is. <laughs> Not me. I can't, I'm going to confess, cannot whistle. You can't whistle? No. That sucks, man. I know. Well, here's another one thing. You should work on that. I only learned to do that at like 23. Snapping? Yeah, so I'm pretty behind the curve when it comes to like whistling, snapping. (laughs) Fine Uh, motor skills. Fine motor skills. What do you do when you're walking down the street and you're in a really good mood? (laughs) I just, I, uh, I... I put my arms up in this like choo choo motion and I just go, woo woo, it's a good old day. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I guess that's, that's, that's a Speaking better. of trains, one element of spaghetti westerns is a train chugging beat. It's not with all of them, but a lot of the uh, riding scenes have those kind of those kinds of beats. Yeah, I guess we should give some credit to uh the the maestro of that sound though what was his name Inicio Morcone yeah uh, I have to say it like in the Italian accent Inicio Inicio Morcone it's not and, insulting uh, <laughs> it's authentic <laughs> <laughs> yeah he did the soundtracks for uh, all three of the Clint Wood like uh, like <laughs> trilogy westerns which was uh, I think what few dollars more good bad and ugly and uh, come on Will you're supposed to be the historian of West yeah, uh, you're playing Red Dead, aren't you? You said fistful of dollars already. Yeah, and then no, you didn't. You said a few dollars more. Is it fistful of dollars? Fistful of dollars, a few dollars more, and the good, the bad, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Okay, but yeah, that's like the the soundtrack for those movies are just classic. Like the, yeah, it's the West. Whenever you hear it, you think about cowboys. That's like every every time someone like does a fake uh, shootout or whatever, they always do the. Yeah. Down, down, down. Yeah, it's the same exact note. It's that's the song. Like, oh uh, yeah, yeah, and it's iconic. Yeah. So what are we? Yeah. What are we soundtracking here? Are we doing a shootout? Are we doing a ride off into the sunset? Are I think we? It should be both. I think it should be a victorious standoff. standoff a standoff. And then you ride off into All the sunset. All right. So we put a, a a lyric, like no lyrics, just a narrative in the song itself of like tension, tension building. Action. Yeah, so I, I think it would be right a good out. idea to do, like, the standoff scene and then have that, like, as a voiceover part of the song. And then the last half, when you're riding out into the sunset, we sing, like, a a little thing. On the road. And it rolls out again. <laughs> dum, dum. Yeah. Okay. So and me and Aaron clearly get to be the good guy and the bad guy. Aaron's the bad guy. Hold on. Wait. Okay. You're the bad guy. Where's my Morocco? I'm the good guy. Oh, no. <laughs> you think I know? <laughs> ben, ben, where's my Morocco? <laughs> I told you to keep your eye on it for me. Jeez. Ask Neff. The, is it, this, is, this is crucial. I think That's, shakers are pretty crucial. Shakers is crucial. Um, this sound, this is more of it. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> it's not... It's not really Western. It's more uh, Latin, but. And then bells. Bells is another one. Harmonicas. Um, oh, yeah, we got. And. Uh, got some harmonicas. We got some. Uh... Using vocals for bass. I mean, there's still bass, but it's like. Yeah, you want to do boom, like the. Boom. Boom. Oh. 
shouting. <laughs> Ow! There's a snake in my boot. Yeah, we've for done sure. that one twice now. We don't get to do it anymore. No, we have three. something I, limited three. Something I really want to add to this track that I, I'm not going to do right now, but I really want that ricochet sound in there somewhere. You can probably find it on the on the yeah. on the tube on the webs. Hey, don't do that, Neff. Come on now. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Come on. Girl. I think this cat is honestly trying to sabotage this this mm-hmm. uh, podcast. I think she comes in here and unplugs shit when we're not here. Messes, puts things in different holes. <laughs> Doesn't sound tense though. So we're starting with. Ooh. Let's set. Ooh, that's tense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So starting with the tense shootout. You want to stick with McDougal? So maybe, like McDougal. maybe for the shootout, we just like there's no beat, and it's just like this, you know, I'm noodling around. Yeah. And then once after the battle, we like go to the beat. Just yeah. Like, doom, 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 yeah. Doom. This is just the. But you need the other sound effects too, the shakers, the yeah, sound, like yeah. a rattler. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like a like a diamond back, and then uh, yeah. Where's that? Where's that uh, guitar sound? Oh, God. That's so perfect. It's very, very good. Yeah. <laughs> I can just smell the tumbleweeds. Man rolled into town at high noon. What do tumbleweeds smell like? <laughs> A lot like, <laughs> hey. You I thought could you do. were going to get away from, from saying that, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> it smells like a <laughs> I, can, I can smell the tumbleweeds now. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you ain't never ne- smell no tumbleweeds. You ever seen one? The first time I saw one, I freaked out. Yeah, dude. I saw one in Texas, and I was like, I didn't. I thought that was just a myth. <laughs> <laughs> the myth of the tumbleweed. That's what our westerns called. Myth. What if it's the a tumbleweed, tumbleweed that sh- is in a shootout? <laughs> no one's ever talks- making rubber, like the movie Rubber. <laughs> it's a it's yeah. a sentient evil fucking tumbleweed. I thought getting, it was a tire. Well, yeah, that's rubber. I'm saying we make our movie. It's a sentient oh, tumbleweed. Got you. We rip their movie off. Got it. Right. It's like a vicious. It. It's a vicious outlaw who's been reincarnated as a tumbleweed. We're getting real out there. And he's gonna come back and kill all of his bandito brethren. <laughs> yeah, the ones who betrayed him. Yeah, because they've been living. They made witch. it. They got a witch yeah. to make him into a tumbleweed. They left him on the train. And his horse had been shot, and so he couldn't ride off, and he got caught by the law. And they didn't even come and try and break him out of jail before they Ooh, hanged him. I like this. So it's a, it's a vengeful outlaw come back on his betrayed gang. Yeah. He's going to face him in the town square. And as he's being hanged in the town square, he sees a tumbleweed roll by, and <laughs> his soul goes into it immediately. <laughs> and it's called... Tumble, tumble d- deeds, <laughs> tumble deeds. Another another evil tumble deed, <laughs> something like that. I'm, it's, I'm still workshop. We're workshop it. it. <laughs> um, so Aaron's black hat. I think. Can you? I mean, I can't do. E- I just sound like my my country western voice is just Sam Elliott. I can't do an I've evil got a, one. I've got a range of country. Well, voices. Can I hear your best do. Sam Elliott real quick? <laughs> I can't. I can stop laughing. Hold on. Ah. Channel it, dude. I know, I'm trying. Hold on, give me something. What do you want me to say as Sam Elliott? Uh, this this town ain't big enough. This town ain't big enough for the both of us. No, no, there's wrong, bad. wrong, wrong town. Say, uh, get out of get out of my face before I put my foot in your ass. I can't. I can't now. You better get your ass out of my face before I put my foot in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I said I need you to times. get out of my face. Before I put my foot in your ass, it's not. That's pretty good. It's That's cl- better than the first. <laughs> it's closer. The see, there's a weird, there's a tonal thing. I don't know. We'll get there. I think this is a good time for me to confess that I actually have a soft spot in my heart for that show, The Ranch, on Netflix. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's so bad, but I, I just can't, I can't deny it. I watched one episode. It may have even been with you, and I was like, yeah, I can't, probably I can't watch this. <laughs> you know, you watched, you're just feeling. Watched- what? Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? You know when you're just feeling? What? Go ahead. I was gonna say. <laughs> I was gonna say. Have you watched Longmore? No. Because that's like a kind of Western thing. 
I just watched it, a. I've, I've been like a totally entrenched in Western stuff since I started playing Red Dead. I watched this uh, series called Godless. On oh, Netflix. you beat me to it, you motherfucker! That's why you saw me raised out of the grave. That's exactly <laughs> what I was going to talk about. That show is so fucking good. So good. What's it on? So, Netflix. It's like a mini series. They're like all an hour long, bro. I know what I'm gonna watch. It's incredible. I slept through a lot of it today, so I need to go yeah, back. Yeah, you need to redo that. It's a good show. How many episodes? I think there's like eight. It's. I mean, it's like a, yeah, it's like a long movie. That's what they're doing now. I'm all about that. Well, Give yeah, me an eight-hour movie split up into hours, and I'm a happy camper. Because yep. I don't think most things need six seasons, but most For, things need more than two hours. So yeah mm-hmm. it's the nice middle ground it's the yeah. eight hour mark we've decided it's the perfect uh format for media now it is <laughs> eight hours no Enough. more no less <laughs> <laughs> and just in the editing room we don't know what else to cut <laughs> oh yeah we're at eight hours and ten minutes we gotta get this ten minutes take out the now. sex scene we can't <laughs> what if we HBO put the, ordered it <laughs> what if we took the exposition and the sex scenes and put them together brilliant it's peak tv <laughs> We figured it out. What was that movie? Um, fucking Cowboys and Aliens. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, what's with James Bond, whatever his name is? Daniel Day Craig, yeah. 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 Daniel Day Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Did you watch Cowboys vs. Aliens, Dylan? What is that? That sounds fun. Daniel Craig and their cowboys and then the aliens come. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. I think I, I think I did watch that um, one time when I was I'd been smoking some CBD and I think I watched that and got a good, good, good big kick out of it. All right, let me record this. Uh... Yeah, let's get started. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do a little nice, dude. <laughs> On that O'Doul's game, it did. Um, it's it tastes just like any other shitty light beer I drink. <laughs> Let's you wanna... tell this story on the podcast All real right. quick. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think you so, should tell it. So, uh, one of my favorite rappers, Serengeti, came to Nashville recently, and uh, in preparation, I listened to a lot of his music with here with the boys, and one of his songs has a line that is repeated quite frequently, where he says, "Favorite actor Dennehy." Favorite drink O'Doul's. And uh, I guess Aaron, it really struck a chord with Aaron because the next week he came to the <laughs> to my apartment with a six pack of O'Doul's. It was like, Very excited. Look what I got. And I was like, that's awesome, man. You know, there's no alcohol in that, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> the face of realization was priceless. And so I've had a six pack of O'Doul's in my fridge for like a month now. <laughs> and now me and Aaron and, broke and into them. Now, since we're out of beer, I guess it's time to drink them. Yeah, maybe I'll get a placebo effect out of this. But there's yeah. been in, studies with it, it works. In my defense, I'd never heard of O'Doul's before. All I thought was that it was just another <laughs> beer name, you know? And I saw it in the grocery store and I was like, I bet Will would get a kick out of this and it would be our beer. I was killing two birds with one stones with this. I mean, dude, oh. trust me, we, the, it's yeah. the thought that counts. We're making fun of you for trying to do a nice thing, but you were trying to do a nice thing. At the end of the day, you're still an idiot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't. My, the, my bigger concern is you're 20, 29, Six? right? You're 40? Yeah, I'm 41. And you'd never heard of O'Doul's? Never heard of O'Doul's. Why would he? He'd, there's well, no I'm reason almost, to. I'm almost I mean, completely it's a pretty, uh, ubiquitous... As long as you bring St. Pauli's next time, I'm good. Oh, see, I don't know what that is either. It's another non-alcoholic beer. <laughs> he almost tricked me. <laughs> you okay. almost got. You were me. gonna record that, and then I derailed everything. No, it's fine. That, that story needed to be needed to be put Just on. Just so record. you guys all know, yeah. Aaron's a fucking idiot, <laughs> but we love him. All right. He's our idiot, and he's well. sober now. So, <laughs> so do you want a met for this? Huh? Do you want a metronome? Yes. I think that 148 is pretty good. Sure. So you guys are so smart. There, there was no, no intelligence I, involved in that. You, get, <laughs> I mean, Ben's smart. I'm not. I just agree, dude. I'm not smart. Google is smart. Oh, well, you, like you know what? Average funny? spaghetti western BPM <laughs> one one fifty. Right on. <laughs> so he goes well, one forty eight. So I'm not two on the nose. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, <laughs> give me one of those fancy special throwaway vapes you got while you're doing this. You know, and say throw it. I'll, I'll throw it away for you. All right, so it's time to work on my villain voice. What are all these audios yeah. right here? 
all these audios right here is uh, uh, I'm calling you out. <laughs> right. I, I want to try and sound. T30. I'm ready. calling you out. You ready for I'm me? calling you out. I'm calling you out, right. Jim. Magic, uh, magic <sighs> podcast. We just stitch it all together later and make you sound like a savant. Yeah, savant's not the right term. Well, the, the thing. Yeah, yeah. What would what was Will's what would Will's guitar teacher think? That's the question we have to ask. Jerry Kimbrough would be discontent. He would tell me to do it again a hundred times. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and he would stare at you until you played every note correctly. Shout out, uh, what's his name, Jimmy? Jerry. Shout out, Jimmy. <laughs> He's actually a really good dude. <laughs> He's just kind of ruthless. <coughs> he is because he knows ruthless. the music biz is but ruthless, hey, dude. He'd make a good spaghetti western character. He would. He kind of looks like a cowboy. He's like yeah. tall and lanky. Yep. I wish I'd have stuck with that dream, kind of. Instead of being, being a cowboy, part, yeah. being a cowboy. You just be out on the open range right you now. You guys ever been on a ranch? This shit's fun as fuck, dude. It you is. just ride four wheelers and just shoot random just, animals, and you know. Yeah, but that's just the consumer picture. side of ranching. Just I was like, no, it's very real ranching. <laughs> They use four wheelers now because horses aren't very efficient. Oh my! God. <laughs> Feed costs more than gas, bro. I was hiking in Wyoming uh, a while back. And this trail that we're on goes cuts through like a, I guess some. It's next to a ranch, and so these people let their cows out in this land. And uh, I come up this hill, and there's just this like straight up cowboy dude. He's probably like in his in the mid sixties, and it's him and his wife, and they both have cowboy hats and like bandanas, and they're both on horses. I was just like, damn, man, that's they're living the life. Yeah, what's my doing? It's like me and some friends, they're like, if you guys ever want to come, we're, we're at this ranch, and our number's in the phone book. You can come by, and we'll make you dinner. <laughs> a number in the phone just, book. Yeah, it's like, oh, my God, these people are the realists. They got it figured out. Yeah, I was so jealous of their life. Because, I mean, it's just like the most beautiful country ever. They're just out riding horses. They're like, yeah, we're just checking yeah. on our neighbor's cows, make sure they're not in, you know, anywhere dangerous. So. It's hard work, but Selected. it's also like... Of, I've got to imagine it's pretty damn fulfilling. Yeah. I like to picture Dylan going to Resonance wearing some Western clothes, <laughs> still living to that lifestyle. Dude, I get a kick out of uh, Nashville Cowboys, and I'm not talking about, like, the Broadway Cowboys. I'm talking about the – have you seen the hipster Cowboys? Like, is this a thing you're aware of? Like, ironic Cowboys? Like, they wear the, like, <sighs> Levi – like, cowboy-colored Levi's – Boots, the like the high oh. wallet, the cowboy hat, the whole nine yards, but they're at like a diarrhea planet show. Like it's the weirdest. Are you talking, fucking to, shit. Are you talking about the guys that go to the army surplus store and buy uh like nineteen forties army coats? I guess, bro. <laughs> it's people they literally dress just like ranch hands, but they live in Na- like East Nashville and go to the treehouse to eat dinner. Like it's it's so bizarre. There's a, bizarre. Well, there's a phenomenon. I been my I, I call them Franklin rednecks, and uh, they are the people who are the sons and daughters of people who used to be country, but they're rich now. Yeah, and they raise their kids country, but they live in Franklin. Yeah, which is like Murfreesboro has which these is too. Suburbia. Yeah, if you've never, you have no idea suburbia. what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's it's like what you'd think <laughs> if someone made a fantasy world of like uh, the abstractions of all the suburbs in America and put it into one place. It's Williamson County, Tennessee. Yeah. 
But uh, yeah, all these kids, they have like these nice trucks that they never actually use for anything other than moving themselves around. <laughs> yeah, they spend a hundred dollars a gas on gas, every and they would buy days. like belt buckles and cowboy hats. And I'm, I was like, come on, what are you guys doing? Yeah, dude, that was I. Murfreesboro has the same thing. There's a big like rich redneck culture there, and I grew up hunting, but we weren't redneck. Like we. We did redneck things, but my dad had an, like he was not into redneck culture. It wasn't a thing. But then when I got to high school, I really wanted friends. I, I came from a different middle school than everybody, so I was like trying to make friends in high school. And one of the groups I ended up in at one point was like the rednecks, and realized very quickly that like none of them had been hunting, none of them ever really went fishing. They didn't have four wheelers. Like they like they had trucks, and they like wanted to be rednecks, but none of them could shoot. Like it was this really weird thing. That I think a lot of it's just it's just like being a skateboarder, right? It's this it's an identity you picked to like yeah. make friends. Bunch of posers, if you ask yeah, me. Yeah, most people are. Yeah, fair enough. Most people are posers, unless you wear camouflage, then you're the real deal. Man, I wore Mazio, camo hat head every, to toe. I wore camo hat every day for for like four years straight, dude. A, what's you put the, a fish hook in it? No, mine was shot up. I used to shoot trap competitively. If you shoot 25 straight, like if you had a perfect round, then everybody would take your hat. <laughs> it was the dickest thing in the world. They'd take your hat off your head and throw it out on the ground 20 yards in front of it, and everyone would shoot it with their guns. And you'd go pick it up and put it back on your head, and it's like full of pellets and stuff. <laughs> so stupid, dude. What, what's the, the symbol that's on the back of all the trucks? Let's Browning. Like the, Browning. The deer. Yeah. I did not realize that that was a deer until I was well into my 20s. I just thought it was like some weird squiggle that every redneck was just a fan of for some reason. Like I never saw it, and so like I, one day it just like, clicked. You, I was like, "Oh, that's a that's a deer." That's so that's funny. A very, Dude, uh, another good one of those things is a uh, eureka moment for me. Those front license plates that have the orange fox. Oh yeah, you know mm-hmm. that's uh what is that for? That's the uh, the uh, dog hunting competition, I think. I don't know if I, that might be. I'm not familiar with that. It's a it's a green license plate, and it has like a fox, like an orange fox in the center of it, and it has like a black bar going through it. Hmm. We didn't have those in Murfreesboro. Sounds like rich rednecks. Some uh, I had a, redneck shit. <laughs> I had a sticker in my window. My first car it was a 1995 Chevy Silverado with the 350 in it, yeah, and it dude. had a uh, yeah. had a sticker, hell yeah, dude. A big vinyl yeah. sticker in the back window that said, "If it flies, it dies." <laughs> hey, can I do this guitar again? Yeah, with we a need tremolo. Tremolo. I got some tremolo going. It's my. I think it sounds voice. a bit more western. Hey, baby. we'll do. It. We'll use both. We we'll use layer both, them both of those. That'll do, pig. That'll do. 
You don't realize how bad you are at something until you record yourself doing it. <laughs> yeah, you got to do it on the spot. Western music is hard. <laughs> this ain't no rodeo now. <laughs> so let's... We've done a lot of talking about nonsense. Let's think about the structure that we're working with. Are we going to open it with just that guitar part? Yeah. So I think... Oh, that- oh, okay. That's where you go now. Yeah, we'll do the we'll do the slow one and then the that'll like speed in. Yeah, and speed we'll do in. some ha, some haze, and some <laughs> some whistles. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna get old. <laughs> yeah, what do we want to do next? What goes down next? Uh, I think next I could put some bass. You could put some bass and Nephi's all about that bass. Some kind of drum beat, just for uh, speaking purposes. So this is the part where... Where you guys write stuff. Huh? Figure out what you're going to say to each other. Oh, are we, so we going to do another improv thing where it's like... Yeah, the, I think maybe, I, was, I mean, that's what I thought we were going to do. No, I'm like perfectly a, fine. I didn't know if that was the here, plan or if... Here's my idea for it, right? So we have like maybe like a narration. Me and that's, Dylan can, can tell the tale. Setting someone up. Dylan, will you just hand me the bass, dude? Yeah. And then when when the shootout happens, we'll convey that musically along with, like, the ending. Okay. So it'll be, like, an improv setup. So the the setup is going to be you guys narrating while the guitar is yeah. playing. And then it, you the- jump into the shootout, and that's where it picks up, and you guys are... Like this is talking the, shit to each other. It did like we, you heard the tale of Syphilis Pete. <laughs> Syphilis Pete. Uh, so uh, so uh, what's what's the issue you guys are fighting over? Cattle disputes. Cattle disputes is too uh, is too basic. Yeah, that's some basic cowboy shit. Um, it's got to be something really. You just I think he's just like you guys are in the saloon and you disres- one of them disrespects the other one. Yeah. So Aaron, there's a, there's a pretty little lady sitting at the end of the bar, and Aaron buys a shot for her before you do. Yeah? I'm a pretty little lady. Hey, Dylan. No, no, <laughs> no you're no. The, I think uh, I'd like it if Aaron's just a very drunk person that I get to murder in cold blood in the streets because he, like, spilled a drink on me, and this is yeah, cowboy this is, times, and, then, and, you and can then murder Aaron's twin that. brother... Darren. And yeah. This is way back when. This is 1984, Texas. It's crazy back then. You used to kill people in the street. 1984. Good year. Good year for... Uh, Texas had no laws back then. It was barely a state. You can carry a machete in Texas right now. Just down the street, samurai sword on your back. You can also have t- pet tigers. So there's... Such a crazy thing. <laughs> Little tigers are okay. We can have these. We can't have real tigers. I think Texas is what happens when you have two little people in too much space. You get a big head. You get a big head. Big hats. You get a big hat. Ten gallon hat. No, I think we can do better, Aaron. What are we fighting over? Um, a woman. A card game. Card game's good. A woman. Yeah, he was cheating it uh, in poker. You cheat. <laughs> Man in a bar. With loaded dice. He threw them loaded dice one too many times. You're the, uh, you're, what if you're like the, uh, the, get dan- away with it. the dandy gambler, right? The dandy gambler? Yeah, and you're like, I'm a dandy gambler. <laughs> oh, I do declare. <laughs> yeah. I ain't ever lost it, crap, which is a ridiculous thing to think. Sir, I am a gentleman. You ruffian. I don't know. It gets. We can do better. Let's keep I can't do the southern gentleman very well. Um, it's more like Will. I mean, Will, you kind of look like one. The mustache does do me some favors. When mustache, it comes to the, the long, longish hair. I'm gonna start wearing like starched pressed shirts with black vests and <laughs> like a <laughs> pocket <laughs> watch with a chain. Ah, you know, please do. I think I could pull it off, dude. Good. Or like a flat cap, top hat, baby. Yeah. Just be a degenerate gambler. You have to have money to do that. I think. I think we might be better off with something like. You killed my brother. And I think a lot. one thing that happens when we do these a lot is that we end up coming with these really elaborate stories that yeah, we can't fit simple. into a two-minute song. 
So I think we should just like cut. Yeah. You kill my brother. No, I didn't. I'll fight you. Bam. That. We got a movie. Meet me at high noon. Uh, you killed my brother. Meet me at high noon in front of the saloon. Yeah. And I'm going to take your life. Bury you in the dirt where you belong. So I can finally avenge Dude. my brother. Oh my god, that sounds like the Red Dead like I know, right? What's that sound called? I like my, it. Yeah. Is that an omnisphere sound? Yeah, it's uh my yeah, brother tell you right David now. was a better man than me. He was a preacher. You shot him. It's for the change <laughs> the, in his pocket. The name for this sound is Dan's studio, I was drunk. dirty baritone. <laughs> Well, I love it. <clears throat> Dan's Dirty Dan. Dirty Dan's Studio Barry. Where are you? Bass, bass happening? All right. Well, we got to cut up the guitar first so we can loop it. Oh, uh, okay. Should we take a break and do that? Since oh. we we're going to take a break. How long has it been? Um, 45 minutes About 4 to 5 Yeah we can take a quick break And cut up the guitar Since it's just Since it's something For y'all to do right now Yeah no one wants to hear us Listen to that loop A thousand times Nope There's some hardcore listeners Out there There's like one dude In fucking Milwaukee That just loves that shit He's like They're so good at this (laughs) We'll be right back day i was making some sausage <laughs> yeah spaghetti sausage i guess that was probably a weird transition um all right so mm-hmm. plan for this story gonna do like uh the, i shouldn't keep saying that i'm gonna do like a sam cook voice because i can't really do sam cook's voice but that sam type, cook or no sam, uh, uh elliot elliot yeah jesus christ <laughs> i'm tired man we're all tired here let's go no uh, <laughs> so I should stop using that, but that kind of idea, just like the deep, gravelly, country western narration of a story. You guys thinking like bad blood? Somebody killed somebody's bubba. Yeah, I like that. And it's like you setting up and like this is the town, sleepy town, it's the the demise of the yeah. the uh, the old O'Doul gang, the O'Doul, O'Doul gang. gang. They wrong they wrong the the wrong gunslinger. So uh, we're going with the O'Doul gang. What's the name of the little town? We'll call it like. Uh, Hickory. Dickory. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you didn't like that? Uh, uh, I hate you. Uh, what about like... Hickory Hollow? <laughs> <laughs> and River <Bever> Game Mall. <laughs> no, uh, that's, a, that's a natural joke for those of you that didn't grow up here. Uh, Hickory Stump. Hickory, Hickory Stump. Stump. Crooked Branch. Ooh, Crooked, Crooked Branch, Branch is good. Um, Moon in the Pond. Salty Springs. Sulphur that's, Springs. Why'd you say Salty Springs? I don't know. That's from Fortnite. Is it? Yes. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> fire. You subliminally came up with that. Yeah. I've been infected secondhand. The by small that town of Fortnite. You guys can't see this because we don't have a video, but Aaron is flossing as we speak. Yeah, he can't stop <laughs> flossing, actually. <laughs> All right. Um, what about uh, Crooked Branch is good. Crooked Branch. Um, there's a liquor store in Jackson where I'm from called the Forked Vine, ooh. but everyone says the Forked Vine, like the Forked Deer River. Yeah, drives me nuts. <laughs> Do you just feel the need to correct those people? Like, no, I don't need. I just roll my eyes and walk away. I just want. I almost want to use like the town of Bucksnort because that's such a good name. Yeah, but Bucksnort. it's an actual town in Tennessee, so I feel bad using it. Well, we, like we can set it. Historical yeah, nobody Bucks from Snort. Buck Snort's listening to this podcast anyway. How dare they? There's one dude who in Buck Snort's like, I really liked those guys who were saying shitting on <laughs> Buck Snort. Yeah, let's shit on B- Buck Snort tonight. Let's yeah, do let's Buck call, Snort. Let's call it Buck Snort. Buck Snort. Buck Snort. Old, All right. old Buck Snort. So who's the old main Buck bad Snort. guy in the O'Doul? Jerry, right? Fuck Jerry. Yeah. Jerry's just a shitty... Well, there's three brothers, Jerry and they all O'Doul. sound the same. Jerry, Gary, and Dairy. Larry. Jerry, Gary, Dairy, O'Doul. Larry, not Dairy. Jerry, Gary, and Larry O'Doul. Um, Jerry's but, not even a name. But Jerry's the only one who's in Bucksnort. The other two are off in Crooked Branch yeah. getting syphilis or something. Getting syphilis. Because that's what happened to everyone. Yeah. And it makes it makes your brain into Swiss cheese, and uh, I guess it was worth it for all those uh, cowboy types. <laughs> so the O'Doul gang is a bunch of lepers. <laughs> <laughs> 
Again, we're getting too in depth with yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what we always do is we want to like follow it to its logical conclusion. So when like, Jerry was a kid, he saw his father. <laughs> this is what he saw happens. his daddy fucking his mommy, and it really messed him up. This is what happens when you got people who play D and D. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. 100%. We want to actually write this story for you guys. Okay, What's the so name you, of the outlaw, or not the outlaw, but the, the guy, the, the gunslinger, the white hat? Can his first name be Trent? Trent for sure. All right, Trent. 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 Trent uh, Brooks. Trent. 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 <laughs> that sounds like a dude. Oh, what did my name? Dis- Trent what about? Brooks. What about? Uh, <laughs> he's a distant ancestor of Garth Brooks. And How this about is why Trent Moody? <laughs> Trent Moody. God damn it! It's beautiful. <laughs> Trent Moody. But no one knows his name because he's... They just call him... Uh, the Slinger? I don't no. know. God damn you, you lazy bastard. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Jeez. They call him... Uh, Whoa! They call him... Uh, um, what I... I don't know. I'm, I'm just going through yeah, the Yeah, what's his name? It's got to be something stupid. The like Silver Stone, Surfer. Stonewall. The Silver Surfer. <laughs> <laughs> Just call him the silver server. <laughs> we call him the long dick of the law. Um, no, they just call marshal. him marshal. Yeah, he's a marshal. He's a he's a uh, uh, what do they call? What are they? Bounty uh, hunter, ranger, Pink, Pinkertons. A pink, yeah, I don't know if this, yeah Pinkerton. I thought they were kind of shady characters, but no, that's that's a, that's a law. What if he's just a dick slinger and people <laughs> associate him as a long log? Long log, long log, the dick slinger. (laughs) That's a D and D character. We've changed formats here. We're going with. uh, I think they just call him Moody. He's Trent Moody, and they just call him Moody. I I kind of really enjoy. Like, all right, picture this. Yeah, you're in a saloon. Guy walks in, orders a drink. No one bothers him. Some dude's like, "Who the fuck you think you are?" And he goes, "People call me Long Log." The entire saloon. Dead silent. Everyone's like looking at him in fear. That's a that's a powerful name, you know. You really want to go with Long Log? <laughs> I'll, I'll fi- let you. I'll if fight that's what you want to do. I'll fight for it. I mean, I feel like if it's if it's what's going to draw the best performance out of you, we can go with Long Log. <laughs> but I it's think good, it dude, really- all my ideas are gold. Okay, <laughs> you shot him down on the Halloween episode, but this <laughs> fucking idea is gold. <laughs> Long Log it is. Long Log it is. <laughs> Trent Moody, a.k.a. Long Log. You ever heard the story of how Moody Long Log took out the okay, entire so old Trent game? Long Log so Trent, Moody killed the... <coughs> Trent Moody is notorious for <coughs> fucking all of the uh, brothel women. And he yeah. fucked one of the O'Doul sisters. Yes. And so they killed his brother, and his Short brother. Log. They killed his brother, Short Log. Short log, yes. Little and log, little log. Little, little, little log, log is actually the town sheriff. Little log was the sheriff. The you know, duels moved in and killed them, and they've turned the whole place into like a a, a Sodom. Of is this, just is this a, a music podcast or a writer's <laughs> room? I'm sorry. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if it's actually in the song. It matters if it's in our head. We can. yeah, we need to inhabit yeah. these characters you, you, yeah. for yeah. good improv. Yeah, you really need to be. Long. You killed little log. Nephew took a shit. Oh, if only you guys had smell vision you could really see how the sausage is made. Anyway. <laughs> I think Aaron just farted. I don't think that was nasty. Keep trying to blame me, and I will tell you when it happens. <laughs> okay. So we got Jerry O'Doul. He's in the he's in the tavern. The tavern is the 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 it's leaky. It's a saloon, dude. It's not a tavern. I don't, it doesn't need a name. I play the the all time. The the leaky door. Oh, Alright, no, it's fine. It's the saloon. So are you going to be like Grandpappy telling the story? Yeah. I, or what if I'm just old old Long Log telling the story to his grandkids? <laughs> well, I don't feel like Long Log is a boastful man. He's probably not. Yeah, I'm just, I think he'd I'm like just to the keep, voice of the... Like, he'd like to keep his past of killing. You're, you're the barkeep. I'm the barkeep. Yeah, you, you were there that, when you saw it, but that doesn't. It's, it's unimportant. You guys will never hear it in the I songs. I was there the twenty years ago. I was there twenty Trent years ago. Long Log Moody took out the entire O'Doul gang in one fell sweep, and it I'm here took, to tell you how it happened. <laughs> Thank God for Red Dead. Dude. It only. It only. <laughs> took, Our linguistics would be shit without Red Dead. <laughs> it happened so fast. I'm not sure. That sometimes that I saw it with my own eyes. His hands moved in a in a blur. <laughs> and, and his chamber was empty before we knew it. 
And then he ordered a shot of well whiskey, and I gave him the bottle because you don't mess with a man who shoots that quick. Name's, uh, name's Trent Log Log. Long Log. Log Log. Log Log. Log Trent Log Log. Trent Log Log's Log Log. Log Log. Trent Long Log. You can't say Long Log if you can't say it, dude. Trent Long Log. Oh my God, I actually can't say it. Trent Long Log. There we go. There you go. Trent Long Log. Trent Long Log. La la. I don't know. He's got a bit of a speech impediment, but he's a. He's but he's a, goddamn it, he's good with a pistol. He's a great shot. Okay, I think we just we got enough background here to play with. <laughs> All this. right, so I'll just, <laughs> I'll just run the guitar, the uh, guitar chords, and, and I'll intro the story. Can, you guys yeah. just hash it out, yeah. Trim <laughs> All right. Let me take that. Just let me know when, I'm, when to rock and roll. I'm gonna workshop some drums while you guys are doing this. Forty years ago, in the town I used to reside in, by the name of Buck Snort. An awful lot of things happened in the saloon that I ran, but there's one that stuck with me all these years. It's uh, the story of the time Trent Long Log Moody took out the whole old duel gang in one fell swoop. His hands was quick as lightning and his chamber was empty before the last shell had a chance to hit its target. The man fought for revenge, he fought for family, and he, uh, he made sure that nobody forgot the Long Log name. This is his story. I hope you uh, find some some meaning in it. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. That's a good setup. I don't think Beautiful. it was, but do you, you want to do probably, it again? Yeah, let me do one more take, just because I can do better. <laughs> <laughs> Are we making a spaghetti dance? <laughs> it's gonna be. Let's be honest. It's gonna be a spaghetti dance before it's done. What's well, a spaghetti right. dance? You ready? It's when you square dance with spaghetti. <laughs> All right, here we go. There was a saloon in the town of Bucksnort that I was the proprietor of for many years. And I saw many things happen in that saloon. Many men died there. Many men drank themselves to death there years later. But the one story that's always stuck with me was the day that Trent Long Log Moody ended the Odul clan once and for all. They killed his brother, Little Log, and he could not let that abide. So this is the story of how one man killed three with six bullets. And I hope you find some meaning in it. I like the first one better. Okay. That's why that's why we do two. We pick one. Yeah. That's why we do two. We do two so we can let Dylan know that he's wrong. <laughs> oh, you you thought you could do better the first yeah. one was better. You think too much. Idiot. Idiot. Okay. That's uh, cool. I don't right. want to listen to it again. I'll take your word for it. Um so now we need now we yeah, the confrontation and then yeah. Then I think that's all we need, right? Because it'll be the setup, meet me at noon, and then it'll be like, all we need is... Uh, I don't think there's no setup. I think you walk into the bar. Yeah. Chink, 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 doors swing open. Which one of you cowards is the name O'Doul? I'm <laughs> O'Doul. <laughs> Which one? Jerry. Oh, that's me. Hi, me. It's me. Gather, gather, gather your brothers and meet me. In front of the bell house at high noon. Well, who are you, stranger? I'm Moody. Long Log Moody. And I, I Little knew. Log's big brother. You killed my brother. And today, you die. Yeah, just do that. I can do that. Are right. you doing both of them? I'll do both of them. All right. Do you want to do one? You can I take I will. Part. I'm thinking, what do you yeah, think? You is... should, I, I think it's better. If you... <laughs> do you want to be... I have to do a different voice, so... Do you want to be Long Long Log? I can be the... I think I... you can be the hero. I think I'd be pretty good at the villain. Okay. Yeah. So I have to change the voice now, though, so maybe we just do one of these right here. Maybe he can talk like this as a moody voice. Long I went, Log Moody. 
Well, I already. Hey, I'm. I'm long log. This is long log. <laughs> Reporting for duty. <laughs> I'm here to put an end to you. I think I'll just kind of roll with that. That'll be fine. All right. We'll see how it goes. There you go. You want to? All right. Are you ready? So he's got his hands on his holsters. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Which one of you cowards is Jerry O'Doul? Who's asking? Well, this is Long Long Moody here asking. I think he might have heard of me before. I ain't never heard no Long Long. You ever heard of a little log? Oh, that ugly boy I'm come out and talk shit. I'm going to put him down. He know he married me. Well, that's good that you've admitted to your crimes, because now I feel mighty justified dragging your ass out of this bar and shooting you dead. Gather your brothers and meet me in front of the bell house at high noon. All right, you got a dead witch, I'll oblige. You gonna die today. We'll see when the hang and come top them. <laughs> I'm try one more. Okay. Because I did the same voice I did for the voiceover. And that's not going to work. All right. All that, right. That, Hi, man. that was really good, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I found my, my nasally boom hour. You just got to keep it, be conscious, keep it, like, understandable. It's good. No, it's yeah, going it, to be worse. Yeah, okay. S- stay, stay slightly away from the mic, too. I think I'm going to have to. I get excited when I'm the... Yeah, uh, when you're doing when characters. <laughs> it's the only time you when talk When you're the bad boy. You ready? Which one of y'all go by the name of Odul? Who's asking? Well, Trent Long Log Moody's asking. You, so I reckon it's you. You ain't kidding to that little pussy little log that I done put down three months ago. Well, I appreciate you admitting to the crime because now I feel mighty justified dragging your ass out in the street and shooting you dead. Oh, it's a challenge then. It is, and I challenge you. And your brothers, and I think you ought to meet me at high noon at the uh, the courthouse. Yeah, we'll go to the courthouse. We'll be there, and I recommend you stop by the coffin banker and get your measurements, because we putting you down. I got six bullets, and I reckon that's all I need. I'll see you boys at noon. That was good. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> it's gold. You guys will be able to make it work. <clears throat> My voice changed three times in that discussion. I didn't even <laughs> notice. And I think we just need one more now where it's like, well, I didn't think you boys would, would show your ugly faces. And then uh, we do. We hear like the bell toll, like, bong, bong. Yeah. And then just draw. And then you guys will have to, we'll have to do Foley of like firearms and shit. Yeah, yeah d- we'll, we'll don't make any that. sound effects with your mouth. I won't. Just, Bang, bang, I shot you. <laughs> yeah. oh, no, uh-uh. While we're on the subject, my favorite line of the Halloween episode that we did was Shay going, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill you, here it goes. Yeah. <laughs> Before we start diving, All right, here it goes. I was editing that, and ben, ben was playing Red Dead, and I just had headphones on in his room, stab, and I was stab. editing, and I was just like, I was laughing my ass. I was doing so funny. <laughs> stab, stab, man, here it goes. <laughs> He's good, dude. <laughs> okay, sorry. Anyway. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm mighty glad you decided to show your face, cowards. We just came here to make sure up and up starts get put down. Well, I reckon we'll do our paces and see what y'all about. You got a big mouth, but my brother wasn't near as quick. I was, oh, it, fuck me, we'll do this again. <laughs> Man, you fucking suck. Yeah, I do. Let's start over. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry you guys have to listen to all our shitty improv takes. We didn't last a second on stage. Hell yeah, no, dude, I'd make it great. I'd go to Chicago. Here we go. Mighty glad to see you cowards showed your face. What? Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. It's falling apart. All right. No, it's good. Me, 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 me. Get into I started too early, Aaron. Wasn't ready. You ready? <laughs> Awful glad you cowards decided to show up. Ain't no trouble, this won't take more than two minutes. Well, it'll probably be quicker than that, because I can dispense a six rounds in less than five seconds, so you better step it off and let's see what happens. Talk's cheap, stranger. 
get ready. Get to stepping, boy. One, two, three, four, five. On my count, actually, we probably need a, a, a bystander to do the count because it seems like I'd have an advantage if I do it myself. Uh, I'll do it. All right, yes, sir. You tell us when to turn and shoot. All right. On the count of three. One. Prepare to die. Two. Three. Draw. <laughs> My God, he killed, he killed the whole, whole new game. <laughs> It's pretty anticlimactic without any sound effects or vocals. Well, they'll get in there. Well, that's why we have, to, there. we have to convey the narrative through right. the music. I need I need to record that he killed the whole Odul game. Okay, sure, I got you. My God, he's done killed the whole Odul game. That's good. One take wonder, baby. Baby. <laughs> 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 oh. I like how we we've kind of veered off from making songs into making like musically backtrack <laughs> stories. stupid stories. It's fine though; it's good. I like it. Do you want to add some uh, stuff? Yeah, I think the important thing now is like different different sounds you guys are going to want to use in post. Different changes to the, like how the track is going to change throughout. I think that obviously those need some space between them, right? So like, there's the meeting in that in the uh, saloon and then some space where you guys can kind of amp the music up a little bit and then amp it up all the way to the shootout and then it kind of and then ride in the sunset do we want to do an, an, an outro no I think oh. uh, just leave it as is we need to do whistling in the harmonica yeah <clears throat> is there a whistle sound you got a whistle stored in there somewhere cause I don't think any of us are not whistles. Good enough. Try. <laughs> also, yeah, nobody wants to listen to us whistle. I think yeah, that's like, the oh, bigger problem. Oh, let me do it again. Let me do it again. Hold oh, on. Oh, I was off. I was off <laughs> key. I was flat there. Hold on. Let me do another um, one. Uh, it was a little bit sharp, so can you give us that whistle again? Let me like... <laughs> that. And it also, yeah, it makes like the... Yeah, let's not do that. I'm working on it. That's not bad. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's shrill. But it's it's a good whistle sound. Though. Yeah. I think I need to learn how to whistle. Aaron, you need to learn to do a lot. That's of your things. homework. I know I do. That's, that's my homework. homework tonight. Instead of my real homework, I'm going to learn how to whistle because how else am I going to sexually harass people on the streets? Give me the whistle and you take the guitar. <laughs> Ooh. Let's just turn it into a bass track. Fuck it. I was joking about lo fi spaghetti western, but. It's like industrial whistling. <laughs> Some Trent Reznor like whistles. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Oh yeah. Oh that's that's good. It's a little shrill. Turn it down a little bit. Perfect. Yeah, give me that whistle and you or you either you take the whistle and I'll take All the right. other one. Alright. Here you go. See what I have to deal with? <laughs> Hold on. It's a process. There we go. Hmm. That's perfect. <laughs> well, if we if we need to, we can add some whistles in the post. <laughs> <laughs> he hates your whistle. No, it's a, it's a solid whistle, but we but. need to like. Do you think you can? Is there like? Uh, open source foley and stuff like can you find like cowboy boots with spurs walking it's just youtube there's a youtube video for everything dude we'll have to get yeah. all that stuff in post i think that that stuff's gonna make the video or, i mean the track 
Yeah, for sure. We we definitely need that ricochet bullet sound. Good Bye. whistles. Wish we had a mouth harp. I know. Is there not a mouth harp sound in Ableton? <laughs> I mean... A G's harp? There definitely is. It's just whether you want to dig it up or not right now on air. What? I can look while you guys... <coughs> what else do we need or... to add? <coughs> uh, I mean, I know those things, but like... What, what main... You haven't done any drums, right? No, I haven't. Mostly because I don't really know how to do that. That's what I'm saying. I feel like this one for us to do well is going to be a lot of post... Probably. Probably a fair amount. Maybe we just... It's okay. I mean, we'll make it happen. Yeah. We don't... By the way, we never actually do anything in post. This is all on air, guys. Don't spoil the magic. They are. I think Ben and I talked about it. I think what we're going to start doing is just recording our editing sessions for people who want that extra look. Because yeah. it, it was our initial idea to have it done by the end of the episode, and that's just so not hard. possible. So for the people who... You know, want to hear more than us just kind of bullshit and make up the ideas and then want to see, like, okay, how do they actually get from this to this? Yeah. I think that's definitely a great <clears> idea. We can offer that. And they're going to be five hours yeah. long. And well, they'll be <laughs> hella long and pretty boring unless you're really interested in. But like, if you like I production, mean, they'll be dude, cool. People yeah. sit and watch Dead Mouse uh, make music Which, for hours. Yeah. Yeah. It, I mean, that's what I'm saying. There, There is a market for it. I'm just, I don't think it's. It's for the it's average good to, listener. It's good to separate those things. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, what was the sound? You want Ju- me to get? Juice harp. Juice harp. Mouth harp. You say tomato, I say tomato, dude. And then harmonicas. We almost forgot harmonicas. I think get that and harmonicas. Yeah. Well, for the harmonica, would you want like just a chord progression probably? Just like... And then you can just edit them into whatever you need. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I need to know. Hmm. Well, Will's probably better at harmonica than you are, man. I haven't played harmonica in a minute. No. And also, I saw what you did with that Aaron thing with is... your tongue, and I'm not touching it. <laughs> so I, I learned how to play the harmonica with the the U tongue, which is a, the. If you can make your tongue like a tube, like I can, because some people can't. But uh, that's how I do it. Uh, I learned how to play single notes that way, and it kind of ruined it because you can't bend well with it. Yeah. So I, I learned, I, I took the cheap and easy road, guys. Don't ever take that. And now right. you got nothing. All right, don't do steroids in baseball. Don't learn how to play uh, tonguing with a Look, harmonica. I think that they should allow steroids in baseball. The game would be <laughs> way more fun to watch. I kind of want to do like, yeah, what if we have an MMA league where it's like, go crazy, yeah, we'll do whatever you they want. They do, yeah, most of them. <laughs> most of them that <laughs> aren't the UFC or like do whatever you fucking want to do. <laughs> yeah, hit them with them. Hit them with them noises. And let's see. I don't know how much else we need to do. Can we have this song somehow turn into the Rugrats theme? <laughs> it's our, it's our it's calling card. <laughs> So, how about this? Um, Aaron, let's uh, get you to lay down some harmonica. And then, I think, in post, we can all pick a day to get together and then just, like, touch it up a little bit yep. if we need to. Yeah, and, like, if we need anything else we forgot. We'll just add it in. Yeah. Sorry, guys. This one's not, you know, we're all tired. <laughs> Had a long weekend. I think it's been great, man. Oh, it's been great. I'm yeah. just another saying. another amazing installment of Say That Podcast. <laughs> Shout okay. out. We make Red it happen. Redemption. No day, hashtag no days off. No days off, dude. <laughs> hashtag sleepy boy game. Nah, I see. It's okay. Don't know. Keep going. Overcooked now? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, 
Let's just uh, see what happens, Aaron. Are you ready? Hey, man, let's just jam. <laughs> Have you ever heard of uh, Toot Steelman, uh, Will? Mm-mm. Toot Steelman was a, uh, a bebop harmonica player. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's, um, you have to look up video, you have to look up videos because when he plays it he looks like a uh, like a small like a chipmunk or a squirrel eating something mm-hmm. because he's just going so fast and uh, it just looks it looks so weird mm-hmm. and it, it's like harmonica was not meant to be played that fast or that technical mm-hmm. but uh, this guy decided I was going to devote my whole life <laughs> to being the best he's harmonica like better, player better than blues traveler I think he might be I'm but sure. uh. Yeah, those two those two guys are I I for whatever reason I really love when people get really good at something that no one else cares about. Yeah. It's like, man, there's really not a whole lot of competition in this market. I might as well just corner it now. Yeah, like podcasts where you make a song. Yeah. We're like the Toots Dillman of podcasting. <laughs> that all right, we're getting that on the description. It's going on the t shirts. Ready? Quotes. I don't know. I don't, I'm not good enough with this to follow along easily. Well, play some harmonica, man. Let's see what I can do. It's upside down. <laughs> this is so bad. get just the could you do like the scale and let so that he has it as a clip so he can just literally like cheat and I, dude there's no way to do that because the uh the way it sustains like the harmonica is such like a flowing a instrument fl- yeah. yeah it would be hard to like chop that up to where it sounds like there's a great said. video though that made me think of this guy's trying to play some classical piece on violin and he's like just play the scale this the producer like, just play the scale and he just chops it up and plays <laughs> like it. it's like a bach piece well yeah so i guess the harmonics are out because neither you know how to play them it's, it's, practice, practice, it's a cool it's idea a, it's an instrument of practice they're fucking they seem really hard to play I just always forget if I'm supposed to blow or suck. Inhale, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out I'm gonna have to actually practice to be good at yeah, something. Who would have so, yeah, thought? I used to play well, the harmonica a lot, but as far as I the did, drag uh, goes, we'll become professional harmonica pre- players. Just sit there for six just hours working on the harmonica that pod- part. Or harmonica practice, formerly known as Say <laughs> That Podcast. <laughs> yeah, I did a Oh Shenandoah in my middle school talent show, or no, it was like a music thing, kind of variety around, show. What, they, what do they call those? Anyway, uh, <laughs> t- talent shows. <laughs> Moving on, it wasn't a talent show. It was like m- the music teacher put together like a recital type recital. Thing. recital thank you. Yes, recital. like mi- Will's middle school. You know that time when when Will and all the other boys were paraded and old men would like bid on them. Yeah, mm-hmm. just like everyone else's middle school. I like take Will. the one playing the harmonica. <laughs> <laughs> I like the shape of his nose. <laughs> he looks like he's got hope. <laughs> I'll beat that out of him. Get him in the truck. <laughs> All right. So okay. harmonica's out. Um, <laughs> Everything. You know we, maybe we didn't know as much about westerns as we thought. But I always well, wanted to be a cowboy. It's, it's good. It's fine. We, we'll we make can make a dope yeah. out of it. <laughs> yeah. That. I think let's sound. do suggestions and yeah, I was be to, done with this shit over it. I was about to suggest just that. All um, right, fine. Hey, I love you. I just think we're done here. You're right. I need to go to bed. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Everybody's got... I got fucking work tomorrow. It's <laughs> nine. All right. Well, I'll start off tonight. Uh, yeah. My suggestion is I think a, a great personal hero and a great American heretic has died uh, in late October. His name was John Taylor Gatto. Yes. Uh, he was a former junior high school teacher in New York who became famous or infamous, depending on who you're talking for, 
basically just throwing uh, the entire school curriculum away, letting his kids do whatever they want. Oh, fuck yeah. He started getting all these crazy test scores. All his kids started doing really well. And uh, people would show up, and he's supposed to have 120 kids, and only nine were in. And if anyone wanted to go to a museum or go out and swim or just do whatever, he'd be like, yeah, that's how people learn. Uh, ever since he quit the American school education, he basically dedicated his life to doing these really well thought out critiques of public schooling and schooling as a concept in itself, uh, how people learn, how ideas move. I think he was a really great mind and he had a, a lot of good ideas and uh, no one gives a shit, but he's dead now. And I, I hope everyone else go look up John Taylor Gatto. A good resource to start is uh, a series called The Ultimate History Lesson, which is a five hour lecture he gives on the history of schooling and the thoughts of uh, you know the way they control our minds. All right. That sounds that's, awesome. Uh, that's my no, suggestion. that's cool. R.I.P., dude. I'm going to have to check that out. Sounds like a really good dude because the American school system's fucked. I guess they're all fucked, but whatever. Um, I can go. I have been reading, I'm still not finished with it, so I guess it's a weird suggestion because I may hate it at the end, but I've been reading Good Omens for the first time in my oh, life. Oh, it's so good. It's a fucking awesome book written by uh, Terry Pratchett, who wrote the Discworld series, and also Neil Gaiman, who, if you don't know who Neil Ga- Gaiman is, you're probably not going to read this book anyway. But uh, really cool story about the end of the world in biblical terms and the friendship or strange relationship between a, a demon and an angel and it's definitely worth reading it's uh funny it's fucking hilarious it's very tongue-in-cheek very sharp sardonic i don't know read the book it's awesome it's called good good omens they're making a uh, net or amazon prime series out of it don't wait for that don't be that guy read the book first it's cool check that out it's probably almost assuredly going to be bad. All, I mean, like, the lead actors look good, and that, like, the relationship between Azira Fail and Crowley will probably be funny to listen to them talk, but yeah, the show will probably suck. So, read the book. Also, if you like it, check out more of their work. American Gods is cool. Discworld stuff's cool. If you like fantasy, check it out. Nice. Uh, okay, so, first of all, rest in peace, Roy Hargrove. Um, he died. November 2nd. Shit. Uh, one of the... He was young, still. Yeah. Young, in his 40s. Yep. Pretty sad stuff, because he was one of the main influencers of uh, jazz, and uses trumpet wisely. So, rest in peace. I don't know much to say about... Respect. What else. Yeah, respect. Uh, I was going to suggest this website that's called Sound Slice. Um, <laughs> it's a great website for people who are trying to learn guitar and there's a lot of people on there it's like open source so people can sign up to be teachers and they like put together these packets of i guess like lessons materials yeah materials so uh, some some of the musicians on there like rob arajo or rajo or whatever he's a keyboard player he's really fucking good and also the Mark Mark Latiri from Snarky Puppy. He has a couple lessons Fuck on there, yeah. and it's a really good website because they also they're like required to upload videos along with the lessons. And on the website itself, it has a built-in fretboard where you can see exactly what they're playing. But you can also slow down the video by like twenty five percent. Yeah, it has has tabs. It has um, uh, what's it called? I can't remember it. Charts. So it. It runs through like you can choose cha- tabs yeah. or charts, so it's like re- it's a really useful tool if you're like just trying to develop your skills with a certain instrument. There's, yeah, I was gonna say, is it just six string or they do bass no, they, and like there's bass, keys? There's bass, keys, French horn, like literally everything. Is it free? On it. It's not. It's not free. Like you have to buy the lessons, buy the, okay. but it's like twenty bucks, and you get like it, it just ranges depending on the person who's putting them out, but. Most of the time, you can get, like, a lesson that has, like, eight different tracks on it to play through. That's and, awesome. And some of them, too, are, like, just, like, jazz improvis- impro- improvising, like, solos. Yeah. And just learning how to, like, know when to play. Teaching you some music theory. Yeah. And another cool part about that website is that they're able to, since it's open source, people can upload their own videos of just, like, licks they come up yeah. with. Yeah. And it still has a chart on it. It's like a automated thing that the website just has on it. So definitely check that out. Sound slice? Sound slice. Just sound, yeah. Okay. Super useful stuff. That sounds tight. Yeah. Your turn, idiot. <laughs> 
I would like to suggest a healthy sleeping regimen and <laughs> drinking responsibly. <laughs> we did that the other day, but I still feel you. Did we? Yeah. I don't remember yeah. That. It's like a recurring thing. We both were like, don't ever drink. It's terrible. <laughs> yeah. But seriously, guys, take care of your bodies. You only got one. Do it. Eat hey, your, that we vegetables. know of. Should we, yeah, so far, till they can start growing us in laboratories. Should we talk about, are we going to talk about maybe moving bi-weekly or we'll just talk about that offline? Uh, we might. We're, we're still discussing, you know, we're still a, we're still a work in progress, guys. We're learning, okay. we're going to learn new stuff every day. We've talked about maybe doing bi-weekly episodes as opposed to weekly just, um, I would say let us know what you think, but none of you talk to us. Yeah, so. you guys act like you're our friends, and you click on the shit, but then you don't ever comment. So maybe write us a message or send us a letter. Uh, you can send letters to 6969 Sunset Boulevard, Los tell, Angeles, California. Tell us who your favorite is. <laughs> yeah, please. Oh, my God. that's what We'll start a we poll. Need That'll get people engaged. Yeah, who's we need to start favorite? a quiz. What member of Save That Are You on Facebook? Uh, yeah. <laughs> then we can steal their information. Sell it identities. to BuzzFeed. Um, cool. So, yeah. Uh, like you said, very much still a work in progress. Thank you guys for sitting through the work in progress with us. It's fun. We've had we a got great time. some cool shit coming down the pipe. Yeah, we recorded an episode that's going to come out in a couple weeks that we're very <laughs> excited about. <laughs> it's going to be very, very cool. We also have it's we're still working really on live shows because Aaron's February. not there. February live show. Uh, our first live show is in February. That's right. We've set it. We've set a month. We're yeah. serious this time. So uh, follow us on Instagram. Follow us on fucking podcast applications. Like us. If you seriously, if you like it, give Rate us ratings. Please. I'm I know I'm being annoying, but you have to be annoying because it's hard out here in these streets and we need money. So we have an email, say that podcast at Gmail. Send us your fucking clips, send us questions, website send us anything. Is kind of in flux right now. I mean if you go to our website you can still access some stuff, but it's uh in development where Yeah, for the time to, being what about to Put, put out a big upgrade. So. Get, I would say get your get get our that. podcast. Uh, for those of you that do use the website to actually play this, the the tracks and episodes, use either SoundCloud or Stitcher or iTunes or Google Play or whatever else you get your sound your your stuff on. Do that for now. We're still working out some kinks on the new website, but that'll be up soon. And thanks. We appreciate you. Huh. Till next time. Oh, goodbye. Bye. Love you. Bunches. <laughs>